hello and that was just me pulling my microphone down hello and welcome to the third C tutorial and this will be on the if statement and also a little thing called scan f which allows you to take user input so let's get started when I've clicked on the window that is the second time I've not done that so we just create our basic thing like we did earlier what I could do is I could create a base file but that would be cheating so you see this is not just about your knowledge it's my knowledge that I need to know so again with all this so we're gonna generate a couple of variables my fist initial <laughs> so we've generated we've created our variables here we've we've defined them now first of all we're going to learn about a little thing called scanf now what scanf is is it is a ver it is a ver it's a function i can't believe i keep calling them variables that is stupid so it's a function I know, I know, I knew to say function. I just said variables. So it's a function that allows you to take user input from our little console right here, and it is beautiful because it is very, very useful. It's probably one of the more useful commands in the C library, if not one of the most. So we declare it a lot diff, quite a bit differently to printf in the what is in the parentheses. So I'm going to declare it so. Let's first of all ask our user what is their name. That is, what is their initial. What is their name rather? What? Now, what I un what I remember doing at some point. I'll get rid of that because that's annoying. Is that when I'd sometimes do it, sometimes it skip out the char. I don't know why, but. I think it must be something to do with my keyboard or something, so bear with me if it does that. But this is our scanner function right here. And we declare it in the same way, in a way, even though I said it was a lot different. It's a lot different in that what it needs as inside the back brackets than printf does. So we do this. And we use this. So we do our percentage d thing again here. So it knows what it's taking input as. And then we put ampersand. I did that wrong because I misread initial. So my first fist initial again. Bear with me, I have a terrible keyboard on my laptop. So you might be wondering what that ampersand is. What it is, is a pointer to it rather than a literal value. Now, what a pointer is is that it is if you imagine imagine like it's imagine your you know you've got f say four or two or one or three gigs of ram or whatever or perhaps 16 you have essentially that means you've got 16 say 16 billion little postal boxes that can have various addresses like if you imagine a incredibly long street so what this point here does is it includes the address to one of these boxes and that is where our character is so by doing this we are telling scanf here the address of our variable to modify so it will take the variable pass it through the function and change our character here to equal that value so that's essentially what that ampersand is I'll get more on to pointers later on because they are annoying in a way they, I mean, they're they're essential. They're essential to writing programs in C, but they can be, take a little bit of mucking around. I know that firsthand. So I'll move that because that's a pain. I should really be including question marks here. English never was my strong suit, though I can speak it especially German as well, and before I forget, I'll put 
a semicolon on the end. Also, I didn't address this in earlier tutorials. If you're having trouble with this, this is absolutely integral because what it means is that it's the end of the line and the compiler goes along to the next line when that happens. So if you're missing one out, it will it will complain because you've got more than one thing on a line and that's not very good when it comes to the imperativeness of this. Google it. <laughs> I've explained enough. So I'm going to do scanf. You can use all of the different tags that we use with printf for scanf as well. As long as you've just got that pointer thing. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten one and I've gotten a segmentation fault which is essentially mucking around with the memory. So you're not just here to learn how to use scanf, you're here to learn about if as well. Now if is unlike anything you've seen before, it's not like main, it's not like any of that. What it is is a it is a like a marker of something that can happen but won't necessarily will happen. Can't necessarily won't necessarily will happen. So it is conditional in a way. So not every child is five, so like a happy you won't have a happy fifth birthday regardless of your age, will you? So let's demonstrate this with our simple if statement. So if my age equals five note that I will talk about that in a second when I've explained how the if statement is working. Please note that's allowed because that's part of the ASCII chart set. So we have our if statement here. Now what this does is it looks at this within our brackets which is the condition that it needs to fulfill for it to execute this code. Otherwise the program will just skip straight over it. So what it's going to do is it's going to look at our variable my age that has been typed in here earlier and it's going to see if it's equal to 5. And if it is it will prompt the user and say happy 5th birthday. And it should have a new line there. So this here is very important because if you recall in the last tutorial how you assign variables is just one equals so to compare them at least to see if they're equal you do two equals so I mean you might you, you now you say oh what about if I want to see if it's greater than equal to or all that now I think this is definitely primary school slash middle school or whatever you call it in America elementary school sort of thing so we do this which obviously which obviously results in seeing if this is greater than 5 or this which is when 5 is greater than it we can do equals which is like if our variable is equal to or more or less than 5 and then we have this which obviously represents if my age is more than or less or equal to 5 so there's also one last one too which is this which means if our age isn't 5 note the exclamation mark leave it at that and you can do this with characters as well I shall probably have to finish that out just if this bloody sometimes the arrow key don't work because it's running inside of the arrow key is like jumps around because it's inside of a inside of Windows console so it'll do things that we don't necessarily want I'm sorry if your name isn't Charlie and it begins with C but I'm just making a gigantic assumption here so it's going to check to see if our initial is C and then it's going to print that out so this is essentially our program and we're going to compile it just like we always do and pray for no errors <laughs> I might have forgotten a semicolon yep I knew I'd have an error 
I spelt the thing wrong. No, I didn't spell it wrong. I did. Yeah. These things happen to the best of us. And by the best of us, I definitely don't mean myself because I'm not. <laughs> I'd be lying if I did. So yeah, that's compiled. So let's see, our name is C, and our age is five. And it prints out our code. Now, just to prove to you, if you're somehow not believing me for some reason that it won't print out, I'll prove to you that it won't. So, thank you. And my age is uh, 1991. So it doesn't print anything because it doesn't fulfill it. So, you have seen this tutorial, and I hope you enjoy the series because I'm going to continue making them. And so that was useful. I hope that was useful for you, and I hope it's useful for me. So, I'll see you later. Bye!